Hello, welcome back to Craft Time with the Donnelly Library. If you're watching this video, then you probably saw our most recent virtual story time, Winter Traditions Around the World. For today's craft, we're going to make some holiday themed ornaments, and for that, we're going to need a lot of pipe cleaners. Let's get started. So we're actually making three crafts today. Each one is going to involve pipe cleaners in some way. The first one is the simplest. We're going to make some pipe cleaner candy canes. And for that, we're going to need one red and one white pipe cleaner. To begin, take both of your pipe cleaners and make sure that they line up evenly at the top. Then begin twisting them around each other. Um, I do this in a very uh, consistent motion. You want the spirals of the candy cane to remain even. Continue along the entire length of the candy cane until you've wrapped the two pipe cleaners around each other fully. And don't worry if the pipe cleaners start to twist or bend a little bit as you're going. You're going to straighten this out uh, in the next step. In the second step, simply straighten out and shape your candy cane. There you go. Our next craft is going to be a wreath. We need two green pipe cleaners and a red pipe cleaner that has been cut down to a shorter length, about eight inches. Take the two green pipe cleaners and twist the ends together. I give about three good twists to make sure that it holds. Then we're going to use the index finger to uh, give the wreath its shape. Twist the green pipe cleaner around your index finger two or three times. This way you will have a wreath that should hold its shape. You're going to continue this along the entire length of your two pipe cleaners until you get your completed wreath. Once you're finished making your loops, uh, go ahead and straighten it out so that all the loops are facing the same direction. And bend the ends of your pipe cleaners together and twist them so that they hold you should have now a circle shape. Next you're going to want to make a bow with your red pipe cleaner. Uh, wrap a loop using your finger again as a guide near the center of the red pipe cleaner and repeat that process on the other side. You want a symmetrical shape to this. You want both loops to be about the same size and about towards the middle. The final step is just to put the bow and wreath together. I simply place the bow where I want the top of the wreath to be, and I wrap the ends all the way around both wreath and bow loops. This way it'll hold together nicely. And now I have a completed holiday wreath. Our final craft requires a green pipe cleaner, a pair of scissors, a craft stick, and of course, some Elmer's glue. The first step is to cut our pipe cleaner into four differently sized pieces. Once done cutting, you should have four differently sized pieces, each one about half an inch larger than the piece before it. Now we're ready to start wrapping our pieces of pipe cleaner around our craft stick. We're going to start at the very top with the smallest piece, and we're simply going to wrap it around uh, in both directions. We want it to be centered and we want the uh, different sides to be even and straight. Do the same with the other pieces of pipe cleaner and keep the sizes appropriately lined up. You want the largest piece at the bottom. I like to keep the different pieces of pipe cleaner spaced evenly on the stick as well, between a quarter and half an inch apart from each other. Although I'm only using four pieces of pipe cleaner here, you can use more if you feel you want to, uh, five, six, or whatever you feel would fit. Now we have a Christmas tree. We're ready for the final step. We're going to want to make sure that our Christmas tree's branches stay in place, so I'm going to apply a little bit of regular craft glue to the back of each pipe cleaner. I'm going to try and get the glue kind of underneath it. That way it'll hold in place. And once all the glue is applied, I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry completely. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you and your children enjoy these holiday crafts. Thank you for joining me, and happy crafting.